Good afternoon and welcome to today's video on the musculoskeletal, mus musculoskeletal system. So the components of the musculoskeletal system are the bones of the skeleton, the cartilages, ligaments, connective tissues, muscles and their associated tendons. The skeletons act as the body support structure <coughs> and this is composed made more, mainly of bone, ligaments and cartilage. Bone tissue is hard, dense connective tissue which makes up most of the human skeleton. Ligaments are defined as fibrous connective tissue that are key in the function of joints. Another definition you need to know is cartilage is another connective tissue that helps to promote smooth movement between bones and drive structure to structures such as the nose. <clears throat> the skeleton has many functions of the body, such as supporting the body, facilitating movement, protecting internal organs, producing blood cells, storing and releasing minerals and fats. Connective tissue rich in collagen fibres. They come in many different shapes and sizes in the body. Their main function is to hold bones together. Some ligaments function to hold organs that they place are together. For example, the liver, intestine, and stomach are held in place by ligaments in the abdominal cavity. The cartilage is a specialised connective tissue rich in collagen and proteoglycans are specialised cells called chondrocytes. They are found in joints, the ears, nose, the rib cage, bronchial tubes, and in vertebrae discs. There are three types of cartilages with different flexibility. The first is elastic, the second is hyaline, and the third is fibro. So elastic cartilage is the most flexible and is found in your ears and epiglottis. The hyaline cartilage is the second most flexible and is found in your nose, joints, ribs and trachea bronchi. And the fibro cartilage is the least flexible and found in your knee and between the vertebrae and your spine. <coughs> so your, there are two other six bones in the body and these are the main ones. As you can see here, cranium, clavicle, sternum, humerus, radius, ulna, femur patella, so on, scapula, ribs, ribs, vertebral column, pelvis, carpus, metacarpus, phalanges, fibula, and timbre. <coughs> so bone tissue is dense supportive connective tissue and contains specialised cells known as osteocytes, osteoblasts, osteoprogenitor cells and osteoclasts. These produce solid matrix of calcium salt deposits around the collagen fibres. The bone matrix consists of an organic component, an osteoid, and an inorganic component known as a hydroxypatite. Hydroxypatite helps to give strength and structure to the bones. <coughs> Osteocytes bone cells within lacunae are organised around the blood vessels. The canaliculi from pathways for blood vessels are produced to exchange nutrients and waste. Some mature bone cells that maintain the bone matrix. They live in lacunae under a layer between the lamellae or matrix. They do not divide. Two major functions of osteocytes are to maintain protein and mineral content of the matrix and to help repair damaged bone. <coughs> Osteoblasts are bone forming cells, immature bone cells that secrete matrix compounds in a process known as osteogenesis. The osteoid is a matrix produced by the osteoblast but not yet calcified to form bone. Osteoblasts are surrounded by bone and become osteocytes. So osteoclasts are bone eroding cells. They secrete acids and protein digesting enzymes. They are giant multinucleate cells. They dissolve bone matrix and release stored minerals, osteolysis, and derive from stem cells that produce macrophages. <coughs> so bone regulation. So bone building by osteoblasts and bone recycling by osteoclasts must balance. If there is more breakdown in building, bones become weak. Exercise, particularly weight bearing exercise, causes osteoblasts to build bone. That's an example of homeostasis. <coughs> calcium homeostasis. The skeleton serves as a calcium reserve. Bones store calcium and other minerals. Calcium is the most abundant mineral in the body, and they are vital to membranes, neurons, muscle cells, and especially heart cells. Homeostasis. Calcium ions in the body fluids must be closely regulated. Calcium plays a key role in regulating voltage-gated ion channels. Homeostasis is maintained by 125-dihydroxycholestalciferol, calcitonin and parathyroid hormone. These control the storage, absorption and excretion of calcium in the bone. So looking firstly at 125-dihydroxycholestalciferol, 
This increases calcium absorption from the intestine. PTH increases calcium ion levels by stimulating osteoclasts, increasing intestinal absorption and decreasing calcium excretion. By decreasing the calcium excretion at the kidneys, increasing intestinal absorption of the calcium and stimulating osteoclasts result in breaking in bones so the bones release calcium. The final one involving the calcium rate homeostasis is calcitonin, which decreases calcium ion levels by inhibiting osteoclast activity and increasing calcium excretion at kidneys. <clears throat> the softer connective tissue that fills most bones is called the bone marrow. So if you have a yellow bone marrow, this contains adipose tissue, triglycerides stored in adipose, adip adipocytes, fat cells are used as a store of energy. You also have a red bone marrow, the site of hematopoiesis, which is the formation of blood cells. Red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets are all made in a red bone marrow. So to conclude regarding this, the skeleton is made of cartilage, ligaments and bones and it acts to support and protect the body. Bone tissue is a balance of bone cycling and bone making acts as a calcium reservoir. Bone tissue is also a source of fat storage in blood cells. Muscle tissue. Muscle tissue are the four primary tissues in the body. The human body has three types of muscle tissues. Skeletal, cardiac and smooth. Muscle tissue is composed of thousands of muscle fibres. And common properties in muscle tissues include excitability, contractility, extensibility and elasticity. <clears throat> skeletal muscles are responsible for voluntary movement in the body. They also function to maintain body position and skeletal stability. Skeletal muscles are found at the entrances of the body and so pro such processes such as swallowing are under voluntary control. Almost 85% of heat generated from the body comes from skeletal muscles so they act to maintain a constant body temperature. Lastly, skeletal muscles must also protect internal organs by acting as an external shield and by supporting the weight of the organs. So each skeletal muscle is known as organ of the muscular system. It is composed of skeletal muscle tissue, connective tissue which supports and compartmentalizes the muscle, blood vessel which provides oxygen and nutrients and removes waste, and nerves which control the contractions of the muscles. So skeletal muscle cells are also called muscle fibers and they are quite big compared to other cells and they are long and cylindrical. They are produced for the diffusion of embryonic cells called myoblasts and they have hundreds of nuclei and this is known as multinucleate. The functional unit of a skeletal muscle fibre is known as a sarcomere. These are highly organised arrangement of the contractor myofilaments, actin, fin filament and myosin fit filament along with other support proteins. Interactions between filaments produce contraction. Arrangement of filaments accounts for the striated pattern of myofibril. <coughs> Neuromuscular junctions. Another specialisation of the skeletal muscle is a site where motor neurons terminal meets the muscle fibre. This is known as a neuromuscular junction. This is where the muscle fibre first responds to signalling by the motor neuron. Every skeletal muscle and every fibre is innervated by a motor neuron at the NMG. Excitation signals from the neuron are the only way to function to activate the fibre to contract. Skeletal muscle movements begin with a signal from the nervous system. This signal causes the muscles to contract and pull on the bone it is attached. Muscles can only pull bones, they cannot push them. <clears throat> muscles must therefore work in pairs to move a joint. One muscle contracts and pulls the bone, and its pair contracts and pulls the bone back. These pairs are known as flexors and extensors. Cardiac muscle is only found in the heart. It contracts involuntary. However, it can respond to signals from the autonomic nervous system or hormones to slow or speed up the heart rate. Like skeletal muscle is also sighted and organised into sarcomeres, but the muscle fibres are usually shorter than skeletal muscle fibres and only have one nucleus. <coughs> Cardiac muscle fibres are extensively branched and joined to each other by intercalated discs. So intercalated discs contain gap junctions and desmosomes. These gap junctions form channels between muscle fibres and electrical signals stimulating the muscle to contract and flow through quickly. <coughs> Intercalated discs allow the cardiac muscle to contract together in a wave like pattern so the heart can function like a pump. Desmosomes fold the fibres together under the force of contraction. 
So smooth muscle is known as smooth muscle because of the lack of seen in a cardiac and skeletal muscle. It is present in the walls of hollow organs such as the stomach, intestines and bladder, as well as the blood vessels and tracts of the respiratory and reproductive urinary systems. Smooth muscle is also present in the skin and the eyes. When they are spindle shaped with a single nucleus, they produce their own connective tissue, known as endomyceum. It is similar to skeletal and cardiac muscle. Smooth muscle have actin and myosin contractile proteins but no sarcomeres. Smooth muscle movement is involuntary and movement is stimulated by hormones, neurostimulation by autonomic nervous system and local factors. <clears throat> so in summary, there are three types of muscle in the body. You have skeletal muscle, which is the most common and responsible for voluntary movement. You have cardiac muscle, which is found only in the heart and, con and functions to keep the heart beating. And you have smooth muscle, which is found in all the hollow organs and tracts of the body. And is responsible for processes such as moving food along the digestive tract. <clears throat> so thank you very much for tuning in today. Hope you have fun listening to this and goodbye.